Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Saturday morning makes. I was super bummed because I was not able to participate the last two Saturdays because I was working on my taxes. I mean, you have your business and I know a lot of people have like quick ways to do it, but I like doing mine old school. <laughs> so it takes me some time um, to actually sit there and go through each receipt, each document, everything. So anyways, Yes, it takes me that takes me that long. I wasn't working on it straight. It was just kind of, you know, sporadically. So I kind of missed the last two Saturdays. So I'm super excited to pop in here today. Now, I think there's a hashtag out there um, about being kind, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I could be making that up. I don't know. I might have to rewatch Miss Jill Norwood's video again to see so I could get my facts straight. So anyways, I just had a new release la uh, yesterday. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you that really quick. And I'm going to show you everything I made with it. And we're going to make a new project as well. Um, so I kind of wanted to show you because um, I was given... Um, somebody did, had questions. They were new to, to my channel and everything. So they didn't know how my new releases work. So basically, I have a release on a Friday and I have a coupon code for you to use throughout just the weekend only. And then it would end on Sunday night at midnight Pacific Standard Time. And I usually do either the third Friday of the month or the fourth Friday. It depends, okay? Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you the new release really fast, okay? So I'm sneaking. Now, I would be doing this Saturday morning, but I'm not because I have to. I'm kind of snuck away because I'm doing shipping um, I'm shipping out all of the, you know, the new release. So I'm kind of just taking a break right now. Um, so as of 1 p.m. today, if you placed your order, this broken heart die will be in your package. Um, this is the die that we were giving away for the first to free for free to the first 100 shoppers. OK, so this die here, if you as of 1 p.m. today, which is March 26, 2022, as of 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, any if you ordered from yesterday morning all the way till then, you will have this in your package. So I'm super excited because it's really cute. And then we have our um, Take Care of Yourself. Some really, really nice sentiments in that one. And then we have our um, Here For You. This is a stamp and die set, okay? And then we have our assorted mini dies band-aid dies and these are really big and i really love the way these came out and then we have our pocket pillow die so today we're using our pocket pillow die for our um project and we're using this heart portion um we're using the heart from the assorted tags um and then i'm using take care of yourself i'm using several sentiments from that set okay so i will show you all the cards that i made yesterday for my new release this is it, and I love this little color thing. I wanted something bright and cheery. So this is, I'm so sorry, and this is the, how cute is that little broken heart die. That will be given, this is what you're getting if you ordered from between yesterday and 1 p.m. Uh, today, which is Saturday the 26th, okay, you're getting that. And then everything will be okay. And I wanted to do this because a lot of people I know don't like coloring. I'm included. <laughs> so what I did was I wanted to make a cute, make the cute little teddy bear. I stamped him in light in like a gray watering color, um, archival ink. And then I went ahead and I just filled in the little nose and the feet with black and used some, um, what do you call it? Glossy accents. And then I stamped the little patch on the heart. And then I added that little heart in there. Everything will be okay. I love this set super duper adorable so I just wanted to show you if you add like a bright color background behind him or her you don't have to worry about coloring him in you know what I'm saying because the little hair just the way the stamp is I think it's perfect as is and then this one from that take care of yourself I used the little band-aid stamp and I stamped a background and the little broken heart dies actually fit perfectly on top so I was able just to just layer those on and I'm using my little square tag dies here um, for that, take it easy, rest and recover. That is from um, Take Care of Yourself. And this one, and the background stamp, what I did was I wanted to use a background, I wanted to create a background paper using all of those sentiments because they're great sentiments in that set. Um, so that's exactly what I did. Sending Will wishes your way, get well soon. There's a tiny get well soon. Take care of yourself, praying you'll feel better soon. 
Um, I absolutely love, love this set. And then I use that little heart-shaped band. I just kind of just put it in there to make it look super cute. And then here goes our mini assorted uh, dies. And this is like a little trifold uh, card here. And I just added those and then that little hi and I'm here from you is from the little bear set. And then on the inside, I just decorated it with a little heart. So this is my little three by three trifold uh, die, okay? So I just wanted to quickly show you that. Um, and then now, so for those of you who saw all of that already yesterday during the, the um, my, my new release video, I apologize for repeating it, but this is for everybody else who doesn't watch me on a regular basis. I thought I would show it to you. So I have everything cut out, all of my little pieces. So basically this is how it's gonna look. I'm making a little set of note cards. This one says, stay strong, you got this, just like so. And then here goes this one, sending hugs and love. And then we're gonna put these two together, but we're gonna put them inside that bigger, our brand new pocket pillow die. And I cut it out using some uh, clear acetate. So I'm gonna show you how I actually did that. And it cut like butter. I was so surprised. I have the Anna Griffin and presto machine. Um, so basically what I did was I put just some copy paper behind the um, the acetate and then I put the acetate and then I layered another copy paper and I ran it through and it cut beautifully. So that's just a little tip for you and I, I'm so happy the way it came out. And I love this because you don't need adhesive to close it up. So we're gonna go ahead and do our little cards really quick. So I'm gonna show you actually how I made this into a little note card. So basically what you wanna do, I cut it, let's pretend this is two and a half by three. Well, it would be, let's see, five by two and a half, but let's just pretend that's not the measurements of this. So what I did was I went ahead and I cut it out five by two and a half, and then I scored it, folded it, and then the way to make that is what you wanna do is just grab your little, um, your little plates here. And then, um, so what I did was I grabbed the heart, the bottom layer of the little heart band-aid, okay? And then what I did was I kind of put this down on my little magnetic piece first. And then the folded side, what I do is, um, of course, this is just pretend this is the size of the heart, okay? So what I do is I, I put it like literally, you see that cut line right, that cut right at the top? I put it literally like, like a, a smidgen right below it. And I kind of just put tape to tape down the sides, run it through. And that's how you come up with these little cute little note cards, okay? So I thought these would be really super cute to go ahead and try and put them inside our little pocket pillow uh, die. I think that's a super cute idea. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and I stamped the insides of all of these as well. There's gonna need to be a set of four in there. So hope you feel better soon and sending you hugs and kisses. And I would leave it like this, but I don't like the fact that it's cut right there. Well, folded, I should say. So I go ahead, I cut another one to go ahead just to make it a perfect heart like those. Okay, so let's get our adhesive. I'm gonna be using my tape runner for this. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and add, oopsie, hold on. We're gonna go ahead and add these two on top of here first. So we're just gonna go ahead and just put this on here. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of line this up. I'm just gonna kind of just line it up from the bottom here. There we go. First one, then we're gonna do, see how now it's a perfect heart shape. So we're gonna do the exact same thing for this next one here. All right, and then we are going to go ahead, I'm gonna use my, um, this is a glossy accents in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and this, since this is like super fine tip, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this. So basically to add to here, since you know there's uh, several holes, I just kind of just dot around it like so. And then I kind of just kind of just go up in the, in between the little holes like that. Just to make sure these stay on. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and just layer this on here like so. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put our little magnets on there to make sure that stays down. And then now we're gonna get the green one. I love these bright cherry colors, you know what I'm saying? It would definitely make, I know they would make my day if I were to get a little card set like this, super cute. I mean, you could even throw a little, put a little hole at the top. I mean, but they don't have to necessarily, like put a little hole at the top and turn them into a tag as well. You know, so much you could do with those, I love them. Okay, so now, I just added some little pop dot. What I did was I from the from that same band-aid set that comes with a set of I think there's four hearts in there. So I cut out the the two smallest ones and I just kind of just layered them like that. Just to, instead of putting one big one in the center, I figured, you know what, let's switch it up and do it like that instead. So let me move these. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of just there are cut lines right there, okay? Um, that you could put, that's where I Put the cut lines there so this way you could line up this little square perfectly in the center. And then let's go ahead and put this one on there. There we go. Aren't these so, so cute? I absolutely love the way these came out. So now what we are going to do, we are going to go ahead and put these all in this way you could see. Let me. Okay, sorry. I'm not sure where I left off because my phone rang and I used my phone to do these videos. So anyways, um, what I did was from the little tiny, the little mini, um, ass the so assorted mini tag dies, I went ahead and I stamped hugs on here and I layered it. And I, I made a little hole using the size, the 1 16th inch size, um, because this is what I'm going to hang from the package, okay? And we're also going to use this twine used to get on my nerves because I used to call it the hairy twine, but it has like this little fiber, but it's actually grown on me. And I, I think I'm going to use that. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and, um, put these little cards. Aren't these super cute? So adorable. So, I mean, look, look how easy this is to put together. Okay. So you just fold everything on the little stitch lines. And then this one here, this has like this a little slit right there, and there's a little tab here. All you do is just kind of fold this over. Hold on. I kind of wanted to, you to see the colors there. Hold on. Let's flip these. And then where's the yellow? Well, hopefully you can see all the colors in there, so. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to fold that over just like so, and then use that little slit here to put in that little, I mean, use the little tab to put in the slit, I should say. You're going to just put it in, and that, see, you just throw it in the little tab just like that. Super cute. And then now we're just going to go ahead and just kind of wrap this around here. So we're just going to go ahead and just wrap this around. I, like I said, you don't need any adhesive. I figure, you know what, let's just... Go ahead and just put this on here. Oopsie. And then just tie a little ribbon on here. Let me, I forgot to put this on, hold on. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Just like so. Make our little bow. Just like so. So just a little simple, let me kind of scoot it over in the center. Just a simple little bow and a cute little package you could gift to someone. I thought this came out super cute. Okay, and then that's it everybody. A cute little gift package for someone with some cute little encouraging cards on the inside so that is it that is my project for saturday morning makes um, probably be saturday evening makes by the time you see it because i don't sure what time i'm gonna be able to actually load it to youtube because like i said i'm kind of just taking a little break in between shipping here so anyways that is it for today everybody thank you so very much for tuning in um have a fabulous day um, and I will have links to everything that I used here on my YouTube channel in the description, okay? Oh, before I forget, if you do decide to just do some shopping this weekend, don't forget to use the code MARCH2022, and that's M-A-R, it's abbreviated, capital M-A-R-2022, um, 
to get 15% off of your entire purchase. And that um, discount applies to in stock items only. Okay, everybody. So again, thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day. Um, oh, and also before I forget that sale ends tomorrow, which is Sunday, uh, March 27th at midnight Pacific Standard Time. Okay, everybody, that's it again. <laughs> Have a fabulous rest of your weekend and I will see you all back here soon. Bye-bye.